Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And um, today I'm going to make a crock pot dish. And this is something that I'm like putting together myself. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, it's like a oriental beef dish. I've got um, like three and a half pounds of sirloin steak. It was two steaks that I cubed up. And the first thing that I'm going to put in the crock pot is this bowl of vegetables. There is one green bell pepper sliced up in little slices like that. There is two stalks of celery that they're just diced up little in little dices. There's one medium onion that is sliced up. And there's two carrots that I have peeled and sliced into um, little slices of the carrots. And I'm just going to dump this all in here. Alright. The next thing that I'm going to put in here is... Let's see... I've got minced garlic. And I'm not measuring this precisely. I've got a tablespoon here. So I'm going to put like um, uh, three quarters of a tablespoon of garlic in here. And then I have ginger. <clears throat> and I'm going to put in one tablespoon of ginger in here. Alright, and then I'm going to put in one... Someone said something the other day that I've been really lucky because I've been surrounded by coals all winter <clears throat> and I haven't, <clears throat> I didn't get one and now I'm getting one. So, alright, anyway, it's a half a cup of soy sauce on top of the vegetables. I've got one and a half cups of water, just plain water that's going in on top of the vegetables. Now I've got to get to. I've got brown sugar, and I've got dark brown sugar, and I'm going to get, I'm not going to really mash this down. I'm going to, this is just really something that I want to fix, and I've got oriental foods that I need to use up, so... And this sirloin steak, I need to use that too. So I'm just kind of like putting together a recipe of my own. And we're, I'm going to hope that this turns out good. Alright, so you can see a little shy of a half a cup of dark brown sugar. Alright, and now what I'm going to do with this beef is I've got... A cup of cornstarch and it probably doesn't need this that much but and it doesn't all come out in here anyway but I'm going to shake this all up in this bag and get all of this beef coated and then I'm going to put this in here, I'm going to get my wooden spoon, and I'm going to stir this up. I'm going to put the top on this. I'm going to set the um, slow cooker, crock pot, whatever you want to call it, for um, 
I'm going to do five hours on high. And when th that time is over, I'll bring you back. Okay, this is Debbie. I'm back. It's been about five hours and 20 minutes since I started cooking this. And you can see it's made a really, it's a thick sauce in there. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to thin it out some and I'm going to put some more vegetables in here. I've got another about one and a between one and a half, one and three fourths cup of water. I'm going to pour that in, stir this up. And then I've got a can of La Choy bean sprouts. I'm going to put those in here. Then I've got a can of Dynasty water chestnuts, sliced water chestnuts. I'm going to put those in here. And I've got a can of Dynasty bamboo shoots. And I'm going to put those in here. Let me get these out. Alright, then I want to stir this up more. And I'm putting the heat, since I'm cooling this down with this, these things that I'm putting in, I'm turning the temperature back up to high. And now I'm going to put in, I've got one bag of frozen broccoli florets. This is just great value. I'm going to put these in. Put the top back on it and let this cook. And then I'm going to fix some rice to go with this when we get ready to eat. I'm just going to let this cook. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really have any set time. I just want to make sure that everything's tender and everything's cooked in here together. So I may still have to put more water in it because you can see it's really thick. So, um, but I'll bring you back in a couple hours or so. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's been about seven hours that this has been cooking. The beef is done. It smells so good. I put um, another cup and a half of water in here. So, it's <laughs> had right much water. And I fixed jasmine rice, as you can see right here. I fixed jasmine rice. And I have some of this cooling off on top of a bed of rice. And I can't wait to taste this. Tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to taste it. <laughs> My cold has gotten so much worse today oh gosh mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm, let me taste, taste a piece of the beef the steak mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mmm. This has a sweetness to it that you get with like beef and broccoli and it's got all these oriental vegetables in it and the bean sprouts and the bamboo shoots and the water chestnuts. Mmm. This is absolutely amazing. Mmm. I can't believe I put something together like this and it comes out this good. And you can do that. Everyone can do that. You can put together things that you think will go good together and taste them. And you'll usually find out that it's delicious. And this is. This is amazing. I need some chow mein noodles. I need to go back 
in my pantry and get the little chow mein noodles to go on top of it. But oh my gosh, this jasmine rice, this with this jasmine rice. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is amazing. You've got to give this a try. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. All right. If you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to be a part of my Facebook group, you can go to www.facebook.com forward slash food prepping, one word, F-O-O-D-P-R-E-P-P-I-N-G, and like my page there. And if I don't get on Facebook, um, I hope to be on there more, but if something happens and I'm not able to get on Facebook, I mean, on YouTube, then usually I can, um, will be able to write everyone that's on my Facebook page and let them know what's going on and stuff like that. And, anyway, I'm going to go back and eat this because this is amazing. So, you have a good night and I'll talk to you later. Bye.